every year, the faithful gather to pay tribute to a higher calling. But for tech zealots, there's only one holy shrine in the desolate desert of Las Vegas. The Consumer Electronics Show. Overhyped much? Good set, man. You want to let it go or you want to keep going? Well, am I, am I ready to take my shirt off? Um, not yet. Big Pimpin, I'm building. Big Pimpin, yeah, you know me. Got it. He's probably gone a bit too far with this whole audition reel thing. Who are you expecting? Superman? Will what money can't buy. <laughs> Rip you've ever heard? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wish I could. I want to watch that now. It, it's a total rip off of, or take off from uh, uh, Clinton and his, uh, you know, last season in the office. But man, that's pretty good. Right. <laughs> You can hear the uh, producers off camera yelling, "No, no, he's not on the point." We don't get off the mic here. Uh, okay, well, I, Mr. Mike and Guy, hold on, we're gonna the, try to get another. Uh, I really think that uh, G4 should be pre-taping well, all of these interviews, prefer. all right, uh, because so of problems like this. Xbox, but it's Europe only. I, I, I can't imagine um, that that's an actual. So I mean, it, it's Microsoft just. I, I think it would help in like. Helping him create a more professional experience. Well, I, it's CES. You know, they have to announce and tell people something about some things. They announced it last guy year. Crawled. That he said it was going to come out by the end of last year. Harry at one. Log in at g4tv.com slash CES to cast your vote. I wonder if people wear belts. <laughs> I saw, yeah, I see people with like the, the cell phone clips on their belt, and I saw a guy that had them lined literally from his right cheek all the way to the wow. ground, and it was like four different cell phones in the leather pouches. That's lame. Who does that this day? Very lame. Oh, oh, he's watching. Stop. That's going to be an interesting poll, even if it does sound like we're, we're kind of doing marketing research. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. It's all right. We'll be good. Guys, <laughs> Matthews is... Yeah, I was going to say, I you know, know uh... These online polls, uh, you have to submit your demographic information when you log in, like your location, your age, you know, so. Welcome to CES 2008, you're watching G4 TV. Are you Uh, yeah. I mean, you can play on a little TV. What was the question? You can play on a big TV and get a lot of satisfaction. Big shock to big TV. Bring them my way. You know, like the booth babes. Okay, so you know we're gonna to talk to somebody who's just hired to do one thing, and by the way, this is their first day working. So they're so even if they you know are learning their product, they how much are they gonna know? And <laughs> size matters. Come on. But, uh, it's, I mean, come on, guys, you know, it's like, show us some products, man, I mean, you know, who, who cares about these women, which, you know, like, let's face it, man, you know, if I want to look at cute girls, I'll go online, somewhere else. Uh, but, Unfortunately, shortly thereafter, the world was introduced to another less welcome innovation, the vinyl snob. That's a good one. That's better than the previous one, which is about homemade porn. ...introduced a home version of its popular video game Pong to massive success, proving that 30 years ago, people were much more easily entertained. Kind of a low blow. Now, the thing is, uh, I think it's kind of a bad background, you know, for the shot, but also, it's kind of, also... Uh, supports my idea of like pre-taping all of these little uh, you know uh, segments, those little bits, uh, you know, so, like this floor report, uh, because of you know as Kristen's talking and, and doing the thing, she's having trouble, you know, or she has trouble with one of the things, and um, you know later on this happens in the show, and I to me it just makes sense to pre-tape uh, you know all your little segments, including your interviews, you know, because especially when you have uh, 
like, you know, the mic doesn't work or, you know, who knows what. You have all day. <laughs> you know, I mean, come on, guys. You know, it's not that hard. But uh, I just think that would put together a more professional uh, show. And, you know, really it's going to help promote G4 as a professional network. The Xbox raised the bar because it wasn't until, like, last year that, you know, 2006, that the PlayStation 2 stopped outselling, uh, like, every other console on the market. You know, raise the bar. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'd say, guys, you know, <laughs> that's, like, a little presumptuous because also didn't uh, Microsoft come out with the Xbox 360, like, two, three years later, you know, uh, because they realized that the Xbox was kind of an underpowered machine. So, I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of curious about, you know, who's writing uh, the voiceover, you know, script. Looks like somebody took a razor to that razor, too. You don't include a terabyte of storage that you're never going to use. Looks like the processor was just too fast for it. Well, you know what they say, Olivia. Speed kills. The verdict is in on the new Sony Vega. The verdict is in, Olivia. Almost can't tell she's reading. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> That's a good skit. Yesterday's skit was pretty good, too, so good job, guys. Let's go to g4tv.com slash CES. All right, now, Sam, you want to do GPS photo blogging like we talked about the other day? So add the photo module. That first photo. Here's a photo module. So you just build whatever you want and write software to make this stuff all communicate with the bug base. There's going to be 80 modules for this thing. So. Okay, so it's an open source though. I mean, it, it sounds like it, it, they encourage the hacking. Yeah, absolutely. And you can go to buglabs.net and you can download the application to write the program that makes all these modules work together. They've even opened it up, so if you want to make your own module, they give you all the schematics, all the circuit boards, everything you need as a manufacturer to make this. So think of it as an open platform for hardware hacking. So you can create pretty much any gadget you want. Whatever you can think of. Well, I get the, the concept. Like, work. Dave, I, I completely get, oh, you snap these on, and then, but you said, then you got to write some software. Like, are there are guys that don't really be able to pick something up like this yeah. and make a gadget? Like, is it actually possible with us? I think so, because they made it relatively easy to do this. Obviously, you need some coding skills. Sure, sure. But with their platform that enables you to write the code to make the modules, think about it. The hard part's done. At CES, we're seeing all this gear, and it requires all of this electrical engineering. Right? Bad, so bad jump of the camera the angle there. Out of you. If you can dream it, you can probably snap the modules together. The guy looks right, right, the guy's looking at the camera, and you uh, jump away. Right, like, so you know, come you on. Like you know, like guys, seven, whoever's right, operating so the, uh, in the control room, did that one yesterday. One there was uh, one of the guys, was, you know, I think it was Chris, was showing something. He's, you know, broadcasting up on the wall, and he cut to a demo reel. And it's like, go back to the live feed, you know. Auto camera snapshot. So someone got in your car, they took a picture, and then radioed where your car was. You could sell that code on your website for twenty bucks, and then sell all the modules as a kit to the customers that you wanted. Will you be doing it? No. <laughs> That's a pretty neat little device you're showing there. It uh, reminds me of that uh, one like tabletop application where you know it's this tabletop and you just literally just plug you know plant little things in there and it would react. Good job, good job. I think there should be. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I want, like, I want a Ghostbusters like uh, camera that I can slide out like they did the trap to catch the monster. Yeah. Yeah. And then I Wait, step on it, on it and it snaps the photo. That way I don't have to be in the same room of the woman that I'm upskirting. Just slide it out, snap, retrieve, and you're out. Now I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm curious. So who came up with that joke? And. But, you essentially can control your car from your freaking phone. It downloads the software. It's a Java applet. So I'm controlling this boot right here. I'm going to lock the car, and you can see this light up. There it is. Now it's locked. This works from anywhere in the world. You can control your car. You can track your car. You can do it via the Internet. You can really freak people out if you're in China and they're in Los Angeles. And you can turn your car on, turn your car off. I don't even know what else to say. I, I'm plugged in on the 3G network and blanket your car with Wi-Fi. Of course, if you use it while you're driving, you will probably die, but it's not really for you as the driver. It's for everyone else in the car who doesn't want to talk to you. So check out AutoNet Mobile and see what they got going on in the car Wi-Fi department.